Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Here today with Johnny Appleseed, uh, most known for spreading his seed throughout the jiu-jitsu community, correct? Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm known for. Right. Uh, Nathan Orchard. I'm a second degree black belt under Eddie Bravo. That 10th planet bullshit. What are you going to be showing us today? Uh, I'm going to be showing a move that Eddie Bravo himself named after me called the Dead Orchard. All right. So he's going to show us the naked orchard. What was it? Dead Orchard. The Dead Orchard technique. And then I'm going to show you why I think his technique is rotten to the core. I'm Nathan Orchard, and I'm going to show the Dead Orchard. So I've got Nate in my guard. He's got his frames, thumbs on the inside. I'm going to pop and cross his, his wrist. That breaks his frames. He's still got that posture, so I'm able to sit up. I got kind of like a Muay Thai clench. I open my legs. There's no way he can stop me from breaking his posture here. I go to what I call froggy guard, okay, where I just have a lot of control until I'm able to establish my mission control, which I will do that by grabbing my right leg with my right hand and bringing it to my uh, left hand. The next thing I'm gonna do, this is the meanest way of doing it. I like to take my fist and just drive it in his throat. What that does is it makes him want to take his opposite hand and push that hand off of my throat. That crosses his elbow line inside my hip line. Open my palm, hand down, hand out. If this arm is helping him survive and defend the arm bar, I will zombie. Now that arm is out of the way and we have the arm bar. All right, my number one problem with Apple Bottom Boys technique is that it fails to harvest the number of opportunities that you have when you have someone this close to you. So let's see if we can cobble together a more effective technique, okay? So let's say that I am down here in my guarded position, okay? I want to do something called the Golden Delicious. I tend to try to fight with a full bladder. It's not just about your body, it's what's in your body. So what I would tend to do if I was going to pop up and cross the arms, now it, he is incapable of blocking anything. So at that point, what I would do, pull my gi down, I would urinate right into his mouth, okay? That's called the golden delicious. Spraying at least a gallon and a half of urine into his mouth. That's gonna cause him to choke. That's gonna disorient him. Now, moving up here, doing the weird hugging thing that he does here, okay? This is called the Macintosh. This is the computer of my opponent. This is the Macintosh, okay? So I'm just gonna shake that around. I'm gonna swirl his Macintosh up, cause some viruses, cause some malfunctions, okay? Then I fall back. Now it's time for the fist. Now in Ameridote, we do this weird thing, okay? We don't just like push our fist into people, we punch them with it. It's called a punch. It's very confusing to jujitsu people, okay? So if I'm gonna ball my fist up, I'm going to punch, 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 okay? Now he's really disoriented. At that point, I am going to put my leg over. I'm gonna go for a squeeze. I'm not gonna go for a traditional triangle. I'm gonna go for a move called the Granny Smith. I'm gonna reach down, grabbing the groin here, the way Granny Smith, uh, the famous politician, Used to, that's how she got elected president of Romania, was by grabbing uh, her constituents' groins. A lot of people don't know that. Squeezing, 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 squeezing. I'm just holding him here so that I can hear the reaction of the Granny Smith twist, okay? Doing that until he falls over. And then, as always, restomp that groin. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Nathan Orchard for coming in and giving us a nice big slice of bullshit pie. Uh, people want to learn more about you, they can. They can check me out on Instagram at NateOrch10P. And if people want to learn more about our Uki Nate, they can. At Nasty Nate Harris on everything. They can never hear you, so just make sure you're really close to the mic. At Nasty Nate Harris on everything. And as always, I'm Master Ken. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Us.
Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.